mathematicians, today is May 5th, and we're going to look at make your own line plot or have Mrs. Harity help me make my own line plot. So we're gonna use this data that has the average rainfall in February. And what I did, let me, let me sit down and try to get close. Okay, so, oops, sorry about that. So what I have is I have some dates in February and then the average rainfall. And what was interesting about this, on this data chart, they had stuff in eighths and fourths and halves. And what I decided to do was make them all the same denominator. So I wanted to go with eighths. One and one eighth, good. Three fourths, how many eighths? Double, double, and get six eighths. One eighth, it was an eighth. Half, um, what's half of eight? Four is half of eight. So I changed those two so that they would be an eighth. Let's look at the second part of the data. February 5th through February 8th, three eighths, kept that one. One and one fourth, a fourth is the same as two eighths, double, double. Uh, one and one half, we said half is four eighths, because four is half of eight, so I made this into one and four eighths. And then half, what's half of eight? Four eighths. So I had all that data. Then if I pull out, I made a number line. And when I made this number line, I went into sections. I did, here's half, and then here's another half to one, and then another half to one and a half. So let's just look at this first part right here. So if I was counting this to half, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths. And I know an equivalent fraction there is one half, and I know an equivalent fraction there is one fourth. Let's look at the next section. My next section goes to one. So four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. And I tried to make all my spaces the same space without a ruler. Did my best job with just eyeing it. I know that this is a half and then halfway between a half and one is three fourths, which is also six eighths. And then I also wrote down that one is also the same at eight eighths. Let's look at the last part. I went from one to one and a half. And then I said, I'm gonna count by eighths, eight eighths, nine eighths, 10 eighths, 11 eighths. And this, ooh, I didn't write it, 12 eighths. So I'm gonna say this, when I have my improper fraction, they're more than one. So if I counted it one and something, one and one eighth, one and two eighths, one and three eighths, one and four eighths, or four is half of eight, one and a half, then I also realized that this one, I could also call it one and four eighths. So I made all the different equivalent fractions. Then it was time to take my data and plot it. And I'm not gonna go quite through that. I think you can do that by yourself using the picture. But on February 3rd, it said it had one eighth inch of rain. And so I put an X and I also put the date there. Now, what am I going to do? You're going to make your own uh, number line and you are going to go from zero to one and a half, counting by eights, and you can use the picture to help you. You're going to plot the data, use the picture to help you, and then there's a few little questions. I want you to tell us what the minimum is, what the maximum is, what the range is, maximum minus the minimum, what the mode is, um, most often, what the median is, the one in the middle. Not in the middle, not in the middle, not in the middle, not in the middle, to get the middle. And then there's this one question where you're gonna be adding fractions. How much rain fell on the first, the sixth, and the seventh combined? When it says combined, that means total. And if I'm looking for a total, I'm adding it together. So three fractions, adding them together. Good luck, friends.